Hey folks, my name is Tim Collins and welcome to another episode of Vibes History. Today we are going to listen to the great Victor Feldman performing the ballad Flamingo. This is from his 1958 recording called The Arrival of Victor Feldman and it features incredible playing from a very young Scott LaFaro on the bass and drummer Stan Levy. Let's listen to it and then I will break down certain sections of it for you to explain why I think it's so great. So here we go. So three things that I would really like to break down on this are the way he uses really, really wide intervals in some of his chord voicings. So let's take a look at the intro. So that bit right there. So there's some really interesting moving lines in his voicings. It starts, we're in the key of F major, and it starts on an A minor, and he voices the A minor 9, doubling the 9 at the octave, and you'll see that the outer voices kind of have this melodic movement. Like that. So with the two inner voicings of the 3rd and the 5th, it becomes this. And then the same thing on the G minor, which is the 2 in the key of F. Here for the C13, he uses a pretty traditional stock voicing, 7, 3, 13, 9. And then after that, we have this incredible passage. Check out these chord voicings here. So it's 3, 6, 
two, five, but he's voicing it like this, so we have... Beautiful, beautiful voicings. The other section that I would like to listen to is the solo bit. He only solos over the first two A sections, and it's so killing what he does. He plays Freddie Green style chords with his left hand, just using thirds and sevenths, and he solos freely with his right hand the same way that he would if he were playing the piano. <laughs> I try to play it with these mallets. These mallets are longer and heavier than the type of mallets that Victor Feldman used at the time. So this type of line I think would be easier with shorter and lighter mallets, but either way, it's really fun to play it. Check it out. Here it is again. Such loose phrasing with the right hand. Really nuanced time feel. You can feel that double time swing feel. On that cadence there, he never plays the five chord. He does something that Mill Jackson does a lot, which is to play the minor two flat five chord. So he plays basically a G minor seven flat five over the sound of the C7. But let's go back to that entire solo part. just a perfectly constructed solo section and it creates such a rhythmic contrast to the feel of the rest of the tune. I mean, Victor Feldman really turns the vibraphone into a kind of orchestra, as we'll hear later when we get to the outro of the tune. So let's check that bit out as well. Here's the ending. F major 7 over C, minor, major again. Minor over F, now right here. I'm gonna explain that bit right now. He plays. So that's kind of, we're, we're on a C7 with a flat 13 and a sharp 9, and he plays a grace note to the flat 13. And that part is all from the C altered dominant scale. And then we get. That's all just from the C whole half uh, diminished scale. So put those two things together, we have. And then we get to here, and that's definitely C altered dominant again. And here it's kind of like G flat. The line that he plays is basically G flat Lydian dominant. Actually, it's just D flat seven. So that whole cadence again goes like this. Getting down to that fifth. Then we have the final four chords, which are just beautiful voicings. This one. So those chord voicings are as follows. A flat 13, D flat 9, G flat 13, and then F major 7, check this voicing. I love that one because you have a third down here, and then this super wide interval to the 7th and then the 5th. 